I think it's become sort of like, I don't know, my, my thing that I go missing for a month and then I come back and I'm like, hey, hello, there's something that I'm participating in that I think that you would like participating too. Um, I, it, that probably says something about me. I'm just not sure what it is, but anyway. Hi, hello, how's it going? It's low. I, I, look, I try to give excuses and make promises that this time I'm not gonna go missing. I'm not gonna promise shit. I, I can't even promise my therapist that I'm going to attend every single session every single week. So this is what y'all get. I'm making a video today. There are a couple of videos that are coming in the next weeks. I, I am doing what I can at this point in time. Today is actually just a short video so I can introduce you guys to something that I've been preparing with Rachel from Reads with Rachel um, for a while and I'm super excited and I hope that you guys will be as excited as me for. Starting from March 8th, Rachel and I will be hosting the Feminism is for Everybody Readathon, which will spend from March 8th until the end of March, uh, talking about intersectional feminism and intersectionality and how feminism can be used as a very effective tool of liberation. As you all know, feminism is my passion project. I love talking about feminism. I love discussing feminism, but more importantly, I like even more bringing people into the discussion and listening to the different perspectives that they have on subjects that are dear to me. It's been super special preparing this with Rachel and I'm once again so grateful that Rachel trusts me to help her along this process. This is all of her brainchild. Like I, I, I had absolutely no spoons. She coordinated everything. Rachel is absolutely surreal. Rachel is so cool that I can even forget and forgive the fact that she's American. That's how cool Rachel is. You know how many people can do that? Like four, which is the amount of people Rachel has in her family. We chose the name of this readathon based on the book that we will be reading for the readathon, which is Feminism is for Everybody, Passionate Politics by Bell Hooks. We will be discussing this book at the end of March on the last day of the readathon. And so I feel like it's a very special moment for us to really delve into feminism and feminist reading and understanding feminism as a very effective tool for us to overcome issues that are very dear and near to our hearts. Had to lower the camera because my lumber was fucking killing me. But anyway, there is an author called Angela Harris who I really, really like. And she says that we don't need to wait for a unified theory of oppression. That theory can be feminism. And I hope that by the end of this month, we can um, all recognize a little bit more how important feminism is and how important of a tool feminism can be in order to achieve our liberation from the oppressions that we face. Thank you again, Rachel, for inviting me and letting me uh, tag along in this adventure. This is extremely special. Um, and I'll also consider this as reparations for making me read Empire of the Vampire. Uh, I'm still not over it. I don't think I'll ever will. Um, yeah. That was the least. Yeah, I hope that we can all meet each other throughout the month of uh, March and that we have an amazing time discussing what it means to be a feminist nowadays, what it means to see feminism as a tool of emancipation and liberation. But more importantly, I hope that we can all understand what do we mean when we say the feminism is truly for every single one of us and how important it is that every single one of us truly identifies and practices feminism each and every day of our lives. We have some amazing people lined up to discuss not only this, but all of the panels that we're organizing. I'm really excited. It's going to be so, so good. So um, really hope to see you guys there. And um, yeah, I'm super excited. This is going to be an amazing month and it's going to be amazing discussions. And I'm really, really looking forward to having you all there. So yeah, this was today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope to see you guys at the readathon and I'll see you guys the next time. Bye.